in this video we are going to see the three phase rectifier which is controlled rectifier why we are not doing the uncontrolled rectifier is because it is very easy in this circuit just you have to replace each thyristors with the diodes and it will become our uncontrolled rectifier in three phase what it is there is why it is called three phase because there is a three phase input supply there is a three legs one two and three in the three legs in each leg we are having two thyristors and in this one conduct at a time like if s1 is conducting s4 is off in this way its operation is there so what is there in this first of all i have taken figure from different source and uh, this uh, waveform of different source so basically this is va vb and vc i call if we compare with this waveform so let's change this first va vb and this is our vc so this is like this va vb and vc so a phase b phase in yellow and c phase in blue so a phase is starting from 0 to 180 degrees b phase is displaced by 120 degrees and c phase is displaced by 240 degrees as we know in three phase system so in one time period i am having r y and b phase one time period is up to what 360 degrees as shown by this black color lines and this one is my plus vl and this is my minus vl so if you talk about conduction of three phase rectifier when we get the output according to our uh, requirements how we get this uh, waveform and the output so we get as v a b then v a c then v b c v b a like this way we will get our output voltage and it is basically called six pulse rectifier because we are getting the six pulses in the interval of two pi duration like one this is my one this is two and this for three four five and we can see half is this half is this and half is this so total become our six six pulses we are getting in two pi duration of output and one more thing we have to note in this is each thyristor okay listen carefully each thyristor conducts for 60 degree of duration like uh we want to conduct see this one this duration is 60 degrees so each thyristor conduct i'm sorry each thyristor conduct for 120 degrees of duration see 60 is this and 60 is this a c a duration of a is what this is what a 120 degrees and the time duration between the one thyristor to the other thyristor is 60 degrees like s1 if conduct for 30 degrees after 60 degree interval s2 will conduct in this way we are going to operate it and then in the similar way s3 after 60 degrees of s2 and then s4 after 60 degrees of s3 and then this is after 60 degrees then after 60 degree like this it work like 1 2 3 then 4 then 5 and then 6 in this way it will operate so let's see the calculations how we can perform the calculations we know our input voltage is 230 volts rms value that is phase to phase I need to operate this in alpha equal to 30 degrees operation. You can perform this on 0 degrees also, uh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. In the next slide, I have shown how you can operate that, and then we will jump to the MATLAB. Uh, resistance load I have taken as 10 ohms, and output voltage of three phase rectifier. We know the formula is 3 root 3 Vm cos alpha by pi. 3 root 3 Vm is what 230, and root 2. This is what RMS value. I need here maximum value. So RMS is what maximum by root 2. So maximum will become what RMS into root 2. That is 230 into root 2 cos of 30 degrees because I have considered this alpha is equal to 30. Our our uh, this value will come. That is mean value. That is 465.91. So we will verify this in MATLAB also. So basically our frequency is what 50 hertz. Time period is what one upon frequency which is equal to 0.02. So basically what it means is 360 degree duration will be equal to means this is our angle. This is our seconds. 360 degrees is equal to 0.02 seconds. So if I want to calculate for 60 degrees, like uh, why I am calculating for 60 degree, I will show in the next slide. So if I want to calculate for 60 degree duration, that is equal to 0.02 divided by 360 into 60, it will become 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this is our for different firing angles. How we can uh, know that uh, what is the value of T1, T2, T3, T4 time? That is uh, time period. For time period, we need the angle of conduction. So basically, T1 conducts starts from 30 degrees. So we can see this waveform that from after 30 degrees only it will start conducting. That is, T1 will start conducting after 30 degrees. And this 30 degrees, it is not of 30 degrees uh, firing angle. It is about firing angle of zero degree. Means if firing angle is zero, omega t value is 30 degrees. We can see that. So if firing angle is zero, 
you can say that omega t is equal to 30 degree and at 30 degrees our T1 starts conducting and I already told that each thyristor uh, between gap between each thyristor is 60 degrees so after 60 degree of this then T2 will conduct after 60 degrees of this T3 will conduct then T4 then T5 and then T6 and the, in the similar way if we, I want the firing angle 30 degrees so th up, to, up to 30 degrees it's already existing so up to 30 degrees already existing so after 30 degrees of 30 degrees means omega t is equal to 60 degrees our t1 will conduct then t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 in the similar way we can calculate by 60 and 90 degrees also why i have calculated this is because of the uh, i have to fill that in the pulse generation part i will show you and i will take you back to this slide when i will fill that pulse generation system so let's move to the matlab and see how we can perform this so i have already explained you how uh, we can do the calculations of this uh, rectifier three phase rectifier now let's make this in matlab so for drawing this in matlab we have to go to this uh, library that is simulink library wait it is just loading yes so in this what i have required is i will just take all the parameters all the elements that is required that is my pulse generation uh, main thing is power gui one minute i will just search it again power gui I need one current measurement block okay instead of current measurement I will do one thing I will take multimeter multimeter I will take the multimeters I will take the voltage source from simskip library power system I will go specialized technology fundamental from here I will take the three sources that is this one two and three i've taken three sources and then i need one load so i'll go back i will go to the elements in that resistor value where is my branch i'll select my branch i'll go back so i think these values are sufficient and i need one thyristor also so i need one thyristor also uh, what is this inside yes it is there thyristor t-h-y-r-i-s-t-o-r thyristor I hope it will come with this otherwise I'll search from here mm, it's loading no it's not coming from here so I have to search it here because I need the black one okay. system will bit become a bit slow I have to wait it's not working mm. Yep, it is gone now I need a thyristor thyristor I will search I will press enter in that where is my thyristor uh, one minute yes it's there okay I have taken my thyristor I'll just change its face okay this is one this is two this is three I will connect the base of its together and we can connect to the ground and we can leave as it is it's our wish here I'll go remove the measurement ports now I need the three phase so it's one two this is second leg this is up for our third leg perfectly done now I'll connect this one two and this is our three done connection and base also I'll connect this is a one this is our two and this is our three now I need the pulses pulse generation this is my one this is for two this is for three this is for four this is for five and this is for six okay six one is not perfectly connected i will connect it one more time yes connected uh, this is continuous so in this this is my phase a one minute i'll just shift it a little bit this side so that we can adjust it bit properly yes one this is my phase a this is my phase b and this one is my phase c or we can say r y and b so this is my r load which i have to take as 10 ohms one will connect here another one will go downstairs <clears throat> in this what i have to do is i have taken as 230 volts on my value and for peak to peak value what i have to do is 1.414 I hope so that root 2 value is 1.414 yes it's 414 and then 50 hertz is my frequency phase angle is 0 
and then in the similar way 230 into root 2 that is equal to 230 I will just copy this here yes I have done copy and I need this uh, phase to be minus 120 degrees and here I need this to be minus 240 degrees and I need this as 50 volts 50 hertz and this as 230 root 2 so this is perfectly done R load I need as 10 ohms this is fine I need the measurement also so I will just select voltage here also I need voltage and this also I need voltage yes I have done and this I will select in multimeter I will select the voltages here it will come voltages we have to just hold on yes 1 2 and this is 3 this came now I need one scope for watching all the waveforms in HD quality and then load also I need one measurement of voltage and current so I will select both one more multimeter is required in this where is my series RLC branch this is my UB weight hmm. I'll just remove this and I'll send this and this it is fine connected and here I'll just select it or we can do one thing okay we'll see it later on whether it is coming or not then we can plan accordingly now I need the pulses this is my thyristor 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 thyristor now I need to give the pulse so first of all I told you that we are working on alpha equal to 30 degrees so when we are working on alpha equal to 30 degrees what we have to do is uh, how we have to give this pulses so in this time period is what I have considered 0 0.02 pulse width now how to calculate the pulse width see for calculation of pulse width I have to know how much time that each thyristor is conducting that is my 120 degrees so 120 divided by 360 is equal to 33.333 33.333 that is my pulse width and phase delay even start conducting after 60 degrees because of interval after 30 degrees I already explained in the slide then this is T2 same way that is 0 0.02 and this pulse width is how much 33.333 so in this phase delay <coughs> this is our 60 degrees of our angle but it is in seconds what we have to mention so what I have, I have told you that is 0 0.02 divided by 360 so I have written this and I will just copy this and I will paste in everywhere and I will just at the end I will change or I can do one thing I will just delete it because I have to change each and every parameters again otherwise yes so this is I'll just directly connect it uh, yes connected this also it's connected this also I'll do uh, connected and this also I'll do connected and then in a similar way this also connected this is one we have already set that is 60 degree conduction and this started conduction after what 60 degrees then 120 degrees and then third one is after 1 2 3 4 third one is after 180 degrees fourth one is after two forty degrees fifth one is after 300 degrees and sixth one is after 360 degrees 360 degrees so we have done connections let's try to operate this and check what we are getting are we getting something or not let's check it let's start with the input voltage uh, it's huge now so I will reduce this to 1 ah, see it is coming 3 phase is coming perfectly ok so this is working fine and then we will select the value of voltage and current whether it is coming fine or not yes it is coming perfectly fine see this is for 30 degrees this is value of voltage and this value of current now let's see uh, like bus selector I need bus selector so in bus selector we will just connect this and in, we will just segregate our voltage and current values so where is bus selector I will just slide it here yes 
now i need to just put it here this is our voltage and this is our current i need to mention double click here on bus selector uh, refresh for the signals i think we need max also for this and d max wait we need just d max we need the d max so i'll shift this backward here my d max is not coming i don't know i have to select from bus this matlab model here i'll search for d max one minute system is a bit slow this is my dmux now i'll just take this dmux i'll connect it here this is our voltage this is our current let's check it this is value of current and this is our value of voltage it is coming now perfectly fine no need of bus selector means so what i told you was uh, the value that is we need the mean so we calculate the mean from there na so we need the mean block where is our mean in this mm. this is our rms mean this is our mean so in this mean what we'll do is mean block will connect here to the voltage and we need one display this is our display so now we will measure our mean of our output voltage it is coming around 463.6 and what we calculated was 465.91 it's approximately same So sixty three point six. So by conducting this in sixty degrees, we can get our waveform like this. That is our input voltage and output voltage. This is our output voltage. You can see. And mean is also verifying with our calculations. Means this is working perfectly fine. In this way, we can perform our zero degree, sixty degrees, and ninety degrees also. You can try that as a homework. Thank you.